Okay, so now let's go over hitting time equations for Markov chains. So let's draw out um, just some Markov chain. And what hitting time equation asks is, let's say I start at state A. So um, if I start at state A, what is the expected number of time steps until I reach state C? So these are the type of questions um, that hitting time equations try to answer. So let's try to uh, do an example. So suppose I flip a fair coin what is the number what is the expected number um, of tosses until I get two heads in a row So first looking at this question, let's um, try to first draw out the Markov chain. So we want to get two heads in a row. So let's first try to draw out all possible um, sequences um, before we get two heads in a row. So we have a start state. And we can get either heads or tails. If we just flip the heads, we have a chance of getting two heads in a row. And we also have a chance of getting heads and tails. If we flip a tails, we can either get two tails or tails heads. And then if we flip, you know, tails again, we could get tails, 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 um, or tails, tails, or ted tails, heads, tails, or tails, heads, heads. In this case, we're done. Um, here we could get heads, tails, tails, and so on. And as you can see, you know, trying to write out all the possible sequences um, is not feasible. This quickly blows up. And there's actually an infinitely many, an infinite number of sequences before we get two heads in a row. So, you know, let's try to draw a Markov chain, you know, that is, you know, captures all this information but with less states. So let's first take a look at this state, tails and tails, tails. These two essentially tell the same story we basically made no progress towards um, our goal of getting two heads in a row. So tails and then tails, tails just mean no progress. So we can combine these you know, into essentially one state that represents, oh, we've made no progress towards our goal of getting two heads. Similarly, similarly um, tails, tails, tails also represents the same thing. And now if you look at this head state, and you look at, let's say, this tails head state, they both represent that we have one head so far. So we've made partial progress towards our goal. So heads, tails, heads. These basically represent 
you know, partial progress. Means um, we're almost there, we just need one more head, um, but not quite there yet. And then if you look at um, this right here, heads, heads, and tails, heads, heads, these represent, so I'm gonna write it down here, these represent we um, completed our goal. So essentially we can break down our states into three different categories. No progress, partial progress, and then um, just complete progress. So let's try to do that instead. So instead of um, our previous Markov chain that was had infinitely many states, um, let's try to write, draw a Markov chain that, you know, you know, has, you know, less states that still captures the same information as the other Markov chain we tried to draw before. So as I mentioned, we wanted states that represented no progress, some progress, and then complete completed um, the goal. Alright, so how can we represent some progress? Well, we want two heads in a row. So some progress can just be represented by a single heads. Whereas no progress can just be represented by single tails. And complete progress can be represented by two heads. And now if we flip a heads and then we flip a tails, we essentially lose all our progress, right? Because if we flip a tails, then our counter resets. Um, we don't have any heads in a row now, so if we flip a tails, um, we essentially should lose all our progress. Also, if we just flip the tails, but now we flip the heads, so let's say um, our first coin flip, we flip a tails, and then we flip a heads, now we've made some partial progress, and we want to capture that. So we want to also add a transition from no progress to partial progress. And then you notice um, we don't draw an arrow between tails and heads heads because there's no way to get from no progress to complete progress. And so we can just write in our transition probabilities. Um, so if we start out, there's a half chance of getting heads, half chance of getting tails because it's a fair coin. If we're at heads, there's a half chance of getting two heads. And then there's a half chance of losing all our progress and getting a tails we get a heads and make some progress, and there's also a half chance we get another tails and essentially start over again. So now we have our Markov chain, and I'm going to define the notation beta of i, which is going to, the, going to be the expected number of steps until I get heads, heads, um, given that I start at some state. So given that I start at state i. OK, so we know off the bat that beta of heads, heads, so if we are already at this state, the expected number of steps until we get there is just zero because we're already there. And now let's look at beta heads. So if we're at a heads, that means we just, um, if we're at the head state, it means we just flip the heads. Now we have to flip again, so that's one flip of a coin. Now we have a half probability of going to um, state HH. And what's the, once we get here, right, once we get to state HH, what's the expected number of steps until, you know, we get to our goal? Well, it's actually zero because we're finished in this case, but more formally, this is actually one half times beta HH. So hitting time equations utilize, you know, this recursive nature. Um, to, to be solved. 
And if we have, um, we also have a half chance of getting a tails. And how many steps does it take to get from the tail state to our goal? Well, utilizing our definition, that's just beta of t. And similarly, we can write it for beta of t. If we're at a tail state, we flip a coin. We have half chance of getting um, to the head state, so half times beta of heads. And there's a half chance of getting going back to the tail state, so we write half beta t. And finally, beta s. Uh, we have to flip a coin in the beginning. There's a half chance of going to the head state, so it will take beta h steps to get to our goal. And there's a half chance we go to the tail state, and it will take beta t steps to get to our goal. So now we have our first step equations, and we can just you know solve the system of linear equations to get our answer. And what we want is beta of s because that's our that's where we start and we want to know if we start here how many time steps does it take for us to get to hh so now let's try to solve this system of linear equations so we have beta of hh is 0 beta of h is 1 plus 1 half beta h h plus one half beta t beta t is one plus one half beta h plus one half beta t and then beta of s just one plus one half beta of h plus one half beta of t so now we can you know try to solve the system of linear equations so first, I'm going to plug in um, beta of h, h equal to 0 into beta of h. So now we know beta of h is equal to 1 plus 0 um, plus 1 half beta of t. And now we're going to plug this into the beta of t equation to get that beta of t is equal to 1 plus 1 half. And then I'm going to plug in beta of h, so 1 plus 1 half beta of t plus 1 half beta of t. And then I'm going to get that, I'm going to write it up here. So beta of t is equal to 1 plus 1 half plus 1 fourth beta of t plus 1 half beta of t, which is equal to 3 halves plus 3 fourths beta of t. So we get that 1 fourth beta t is equal to 3 halves and beta of t is equal to 6. And similarly we can solve for beta of heads. Beta of heads is just 1 plus 0 plus 1 half beta of t, which is just 1 plus 3, which is 4. And finally, we can solve beta of s to be 1 plus 1 half beta of h plus 1 half beta of t, which is 1 plus 1 half times 4 plus 1 half times 6, which is equal to 6. And therefore, um, the expected number of tosses we need to uh, toss uh, to get two heads in a row is going to be six. And also, if you noticed, um, the equations for beta s and beta t were identical, so I could have just stopped after solving beta of t, but I just you know, did this part for um, completion.